Thank you for joining. Again, this is Allie. And uh, today, so today, <laughs> usually I am on my mat. Um, if a mat's not your jam today, you can always be on something else, a uh, chair, a couch, a bed. So, and we can always find variations for whatever we may do. Uh, just to get situated, set up, I, the long left side of my mat is facing you, facing the camera. So if I get into a tabletop shape right now, which we will start on our backs, so if you'd like to get there, you can. If I'm in a tabletop shape on all fours, my, you are, the left side of my body is facing you. My fingers are facing what I call the top short side or the front of the mat. My toes are pointing toward the back short side or bottom of the mat. And then the right long side is uh, to my right, <laughs> away from the screen. So uh, just a little bit of orientation on the mat if that's what you so choose to use. If you have any household items or props, you may also use those to help support yourself, your practice, your life, whatever you may need to or choose to do. So we will go ahead and get started on our backs. As you come on down to however feels the most comfortable for you today. So you could have your legs extended long, you could have your feet planted on the earth, you could have your arms on the earth alongside the body, or maybe you take hands to the heart and the belly. Maybe you take something totally and completely different. Whatever it is that feels best for you to start to settle in. To start settling into this place, to wherever you may be. To start settling into this time that you've taken out of your day for your practice. This time where you remember the practice is much more than the physical shape much more than the body, much more than your own breath and mind. It's a practice that goes beyond yourself and how you move about the world, a practice of how you talk to and treat yourself as well as one another. So take this time, use this time to intentionally practice how you talk to yourself, how you treat yourself, offering compassion, kindness, love, acceptance, so that you can continue that practice once we move on from this time together. Start to notice your breath. Noticing how it feels, noticing the inhales and the exhales. Perhaps begin to slow it down a bit, perhaps Deepen and lengthen those inhales and exhales. Or doing whatever feels right for you. Whatever helps you to become more aware of that breath. To settle into it. Notice when maybe you start to hold the breath. To remember to release. And then begin to notice the mind. Perhaps by settling into the breath, the mind starts to slow down, maybe find a little bit of calm amidst the distractions of life, externally and internally. And maybe not. It's a constant practice. A practice to come back to when you can, when you remember, to pause, to be, to breathe, to notice, to accept. Begin to notice the body. Maybe take a scan from top to bottom or bottom to top. Becoming aware of the sensations. Becoming aware of any changes. Remembering the body, breath, mind are constantly changing as with everything else in life. And so trying to come back to that practice of accepting those changes. Of accepting life as is in each and every moment. And take this time to remember that you've done the hard part by showing up. 
make this practice enjoyable for you. Practicing listening to and trusting yourself and what you need. Finding variations of shapes and poses, perhaps taking something completely different than what might be offered. As you allow this practice to be as unique as you. Well, maybe you'd like to start taking a big full body stretch, reaching the arms up overhead, reaching the legs out long. Maybe you point and flex the feet, roll the wrists and ankles, feel some cracks and pops. And we'll start to hug that right knee in toward the chest. You can keep the left leg extended long. Maybe you flex through both feet. The hands might interlace around the left shin or thigh or, or sorry, right, right to shin or thigh as we hug that right leg in. Or hold on somewhere else to that leg. And trying to kind of ground that left heel so the left side stays grounded-ish. Maybe the shoulders start to tense or shrug up, trying to relax, release. And if it feels better for you, you can always allow that right leg to fall more open to the right, coming outside of the ribs as if you're squeezing that knee more toward the shoulder as opposed to the chest. And breathe. And if that knee is still toward the chest, you can begin to take it wide outside of the rib. And maybe you choose to stay right here for your half happy baby variation with the sole of this right foot facing forward. Or perhaps you'd like to reach that right hand for the right foot or anywhere else along the right leg. If you'd like to draw the sole of that right foot to face the sky-ish, knee toward the earth, the underarm-ish. You could also have that right foot facing more kind of in between forward and upward, finding whatever feels right for you. The left hand could be on the belly, the hip, the earth. You could keep that left leg extended long, or perhaps you'd like to bend the leg, plant the foot on the earth. Maybe let that left knee fall open to the left, coming to the outer edge of that foot. Again, find what works for you, what feels best today, which may be different than on other days. And breathe. Wherever that left foot is, let's plant it on the earth as we find our reclined figure four back pigeon, gently taking that right outer ankle to the top of the left thigh just above the knee, trying to keep that right foot flexed if possible and trying to gently encourage that right knee away from the upper body. You could press that ankle into the thigh or you could use that right hand to press against that right inner thigh to press that knee away a bit. You could stay right here with the left foot on the earth or perhaps you begin to lift it up as you hug the legs in toward the chest holding on to the lower right leg, or perhaps the right arm goes in the space between the legs as the hands find that left leg or perhaps one another. Maybe they interlace around that left shin or thigh. Maybe the right elbow presses into that right thigh. Coming back to the body, the breath, as you notice any areas that you can relax, release, even if only a bit. And if that left foot is on the up, if it's lifted, you can gently start to release it back to the earth as you uncross the right, taking both feet to the earth. Perhaps you'd like to take the feet as wide as your mat, your space, or a little bit wider than your hips. And you could find stillness, dropping the knees in toward one another, or perhaps find some windshield wiper movements if you'd like to let the legs fall to the right and to the left. Going at your pace, moving with your breath.
and begin to come back through center if you were moving and we'll start to find the other side. So the right leg extends long as we begin to hug that left knee in toward the chest, flexing through the feet if possible, allowing yourself to situate hands anywhere to that left leg, trying to relax through the shoulders or anywhere else. And again, if it's better, you could always let that left leg fall more open to the left outside of the ribs allowing for more space in the upper body or a different sensation that you may be needing or wanting. And let's breathe. And if that left leg is not wide, you can start to take it wide outside the ribs now. And maybe you stay here, solo foot facing forward. Maybe left hand finds that left foot or anywhere else along the leg. And you begin to take the sole of that left foot to face the sky, knee toward the earth, the underarm. Again, the sole of that foot could also be more in between, forward and upward. That right leg could be extended, stay extended long, right hand wherever you wish. Or you could always plant that right foot on the earth, bending the leg and let that right knee fall open to the right coming to the outer edge of that foot and breathe. And wherever that right foot might be, let's plant it on the earth to find that reclined figure four back pigeon as we gently take that left outer ankle top of right thigh just above the knee. Trying to keep that left foot flexed, trying to encourage the left knee away from the upper body through gently pressing that left ankle into the right thigh or pressing that left hand into the left thigh. And choosing to stay right here with the right foot on the earth or maybe lifting it up to hug the legs in, holding that lower left leg or perhaps the hands find that right leg. Maybe left elbow presses into left thigh. Maybe you are somewhere different on this side. As you come back to noticing the breath, the body, the sensations. And if that right foot is lifted, gently begin to release as you uncross the left, both feet to the earth once again. And again, feet can go wide-ish. You can find some stillness, maybe drop the knees in toward one another, or you could take those windshield wiper motions once again, letting those knees fall right to left, back and forth. And as you feel ready, start to come to center and Bring both knees in for a hug. And maybe you stay right here, or maybe you'd like to start rocking side to side on the spine. Maybe you'd like to roll the knees in some circles in one direction a few times. And then switching the direction, perhaps that rolls that low back out on the earth. And we'll start to make our way to our seat. You can gently press yourself up. Maybe you'd like to rock front to back on the spine, finding some momentum as you come to your seated cross leg shape, if that's comfortable-ish for you. Take your time to get situated, settled. Palms can be up or down on the knees or thighs. Maybe you roll out the shoulders a few times. Thinking about having a long spine with the crown of the head reaching toward the sky and start to notice your breath once again. Maybe noticing any differences in how that breath feels or seems on your seat versus your back. And we'll begin to gently dip the chin toward the chest. Perhaps feeling sensation through the back of the neck, upper back, shoulders. And maybe not, we all feel sensations differently. 
Next exhale, gently roll the right ear toward the right shoulder, face it forward. Finding a stretch through that left side of the neck. You can stay here with the hands on the legs. You could take the hands to the earth next to the hip. Maybe you walk those hands out away from you. Maybe you take that right hand up to the left temple just above the ear for some gentle pressure to draw that right ear a bit closer to the right shoulder. Maybe only a millimeter or, or not. Maybe it's noticeable, maybe it's not. Notice if that right shoulder wants to shrug up, trying to relax it a bit. Maybe you tilt the chin up or down as you find wherever feels best for you here. Begin to gently release back to having that chin toward the chest. Take your time. And gently exhale, left ear, left shoulder as we switch sides. So again, hands can be on the legs, faces forward. Hands can be on the earth. You can walk those hands out away from the body. You can reach that left arm up to that right temple, just above the ear, trying to relax that left shoulder, maybe chin tilts up or down. Again, maybe you're somewhere different on this side. And breathe. And begin to gently release, slowly take the chin back toward the chest. Next inhale, let's reach the arms up as high as you wish. So maybe the biceps are by the ears with the fingers reaching toward the sky. Maybe the arms are a bit more forward, depending on wherever you're feeling okay today. Face can be forward or maybe you tilt the face upward-ish. Hands touch, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale as we twist to the right. Right arm comes to the right hand, comes to the earth behind the low back. Left hand comes to the right leg, gently turning the upper body toward the right. And breathe. Inhale, coming back through center. Arms could reach up or not. And exhale, switching sides, taking that twist to the left. Left hand to the earth behind the low back, right hand to the left leg, the knee to the thigh. Tall spine, gentle twist toward the left. Inhaling back through center, arms up or not. We'll take a hinge or a forward fold. So if the arms are up, you could release them to the earth just in front of the legs, or as you begin to hinge forward with the upper body. Then you could allow the hands to land on the earth wherever you'd like them to land in front of you. So you can stay on the fingertips, keeping the face and the heart forward. Or maybe you'd like to gently round the head toward the earth and trying to notice if you can see, keep the seat grounded-ish. Maybe that means walking your hands back a bit toward the body. And breathe. And start to gently walk yourself back up. And let's start to find our tabletop shape coming to all fours. So coming onto hands and knees, coming onto the shins, maybe the hips are stacked over the knees and you can be on the tops of the feet. So again, toes facing that back short side of your space. Fingers are spread wide. Shoulders might be over the wrist or maybe you have the hands a bit more forward or spin the fingers out a bit. Maybe you have your hands on blocks or books or pillows trying to alleviate any wrist pressure. Think about spreading the fingers wide, pressing into the fingertips, maybe a slight micro bend in the elbows. And we'll find some cat-cows as we inhale, drop the belly, arch the spine, crown of the head and tail upward-ish. Exhale, rounding through the spine, chin toward the chest. Pressing the earth away for cat. Inhale, arching up for cow. Exhale, round for cat. And start to take a few more rounds on your own. As you move at your pace and with your breath. Maybe shifting front to back or side to side, finding whatever feels good for you.
and coming back up to that center tabletop shape. From here, let's extend that left leg back behind us, ball of the foot on the earth. You can rock front to back on the ball of that foot, pressing that left heel back a bit. And then we'll start to pivot and plant that left foot so it's parallel-ish to that back short side of our space. As we find a supported side plank, grounding into that right hand and inhaling that left arm up. So opening the front of the body up to that long left side of the space, we're on that left foot, right shin, right hand. Left fingers can be reaching toward the sky, or maybe you'd like to extend that arm overhead, bicep by the ear, as the left fingers reach forward-ish. Maybe you'd like to find a bit of balance by starting to lift that left foot and flexing through that foot if you're doing so. Maybe you hover the foot and then release it right away. Maybe you lift that foot so the leg is parallelish to the earth, finding whatever you'd like to find. And then wherever you are, gently start to release back into your tabletop, coming back to all fours. And we'll start to switch sides as we extend that right leg back behind us, coming onto the ball of that right foot. You can rock a few times front to back, pressing that right heel back. And then we'll take it on this side as we begin to pivot and plant that right foot so it's grounded on the earth, parallel-ish. That outer edge is parallel-ish to the back short side of your space. Grounding into the left hand, left fingers as we reach that right arm to the sky. And breathing here on that right foot, left shin, left hand. So again, right fingers can stay toward the sky. Or maybe you'd like to extend that arm overhead, bicep by the ear as the fingers reach forward-ish. Maybe you stay here, or maybe you choose to gently start to lift that right foot off the earth as much as you wish. For a bit of balance, breathe. And gently begin to find your way back to your tabletop shape. And from here, let's inhale, drop the belly for a cow, arching the spine. Exhale for cat, rounding the spine, chin to the chest. From here, let's start to tuck the toes under and begin to lift the knees, sending the torso toward the thighs. And tail goes high as we find a down dog shape, upside down V. You can begin to pedal through the feet, readjust the weight through the fingertips, the hands. Maybe you shake the head, yes or no. So the tail is high, trying to have a long spine, breathing. We'll begin to walk the feet toward the hands at the top of our space. You can find a ragdoll shape as you bend the knees, allow the belly to rest on the thighs. Hands can stay on the earth near the feet. Maybe you reach for opposite elbows, allowing the upper body to hang. Maybe you shake the head. Maybe you gently rock the upper body side to side, trying to allow the head, neck, spine to be heavy and relaxed. back towards center if you were moving, releasing the hands if they were lifted. And we'll start to take a slow roll to stand. So take your time as you begin to come up. Let the head be the last to rise. Maybe you shrug out the shoulders a bit. Maybe you wiggle on the toes, rock on the feet. Allowing yourself to readjust to this standing shape. And then begin to plant your feet into the earth, arms reaching down alongside the body. Thinking about the crown of the head toward the earth as you stand tall, as you lift up through the kneecaps, engaging through the quads and the core, and coming back to noticing that breath. And we'll start to inhale the arms up as high as you wish. Perhaps the face tilts up or not. Hands touch, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reaching the arms up. And take a hold of that left wrist with the right hand. If you inhale, you can reach the hands, the arms up a little higher and exhale, take a lean to the right. Gently kind of pulling on that left wrist, left arm to find that side stretch. Inhaling back up through center, switching sides, taking a hold of that right wrist with the left hand. And maybe as you inhale, you reach those hands up a little bit higher and exhale, take that lean to the left. And 
Inhaling back up through center. Separate the hands. We'll start to find a forward fold. You could take hands to heart center, to hips, or you can begin to press the air away at the sides of your body with the arms as you slightly bend the knees, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Hands to the earth, head is heavy. Or hands can be on blocks or books or a chair. Inhale for a half lift, hands to shin size, blocks, books, chair, whatever you may need or want. Exhale, fold forward. Let's step that left foot back as we find a runner stretch. Hands are framing that front right foot. Again, they could be on blocks or anything else. We're on the ball of that left foot. Left leg is extended back. Heart and face are forward. And then we'll start to drop that left knee, left shin to the earth and come up into a low lunge. You can take the hands to that right thigh to help you up, or you can start to circle, sweep the arms up. So lifting maybe the fingers toward the sky, biceps by the ears as we lift up into that low lunge. We're on that left shin and right foot. Exhale, cactus, open the arms as you bend at the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together. So bending the arms into a goal post or cactus, upper arms parallel-ish to the earth, fingers pointing toward the sky, bending the heart forward-ish, maybe the face tilts up. Exhale, gently release the hands back down to frame that right foot. We'll begin to gently shift the hips back, lengthen the right leg as much as you wish into a half split. So the right foot can stay grounded or you can begin to lift the toes to face the sky coming onto that right heel. The hands can stay forward near the foot or you can walk the hands back toward the body. Maybe you lift up onto the fingertips, keeping the face and heart forward or maybe you gently round the upper body over that right leg. And breathe. And start to gently rebend into that right leg. Hands come back to frame that right foot. We'll find a twist, keeping that left hand on the earth to the inside of the right foot. You can keep the left leg on the earth, or you can start to curl the left toes, lift that left knee, and begin to inhale that right arc toward the sky, gently turning the upper body toward that right leg, right side. Breathe. And gently start to release the right hand back down to the outside of that right foot. So we're going to come back into a plank or a tabletop or a plank with the knees dropped, whatever you'd like to do. You can, again, that left leg could be on the uh, shin, knee can be on the earth, and you can start to slide that right foot back, or you can start to take a big step back for that right foot to meet the left. And then maybe the knees, again, maybe you come into a tabletop shape. Maybe you're in a plank shape on the hands and balls of the feet. Maybe you have the knees on the earth. If you're in a plank, if you have the knees lifted, think again about pressing those fingertips into the earth, maybe a slight bend through the elbows, the shoulders over wrists, pressing those heels back on the balls of the feet. Again, you can always have knees on the earth. You can always be on tabletop. And we'll start to find a down dog. So starting to bend the knees, sending the tail toward the sky, finding that upside down V. You can pedal through the feet, shake the head, whatever you need to do. And we'll start to walk those feet toward the hands, coming to the back or to the top, coming back to the top of our space, finding that forward fold at the front. You could slowly roll up to stand, or you can slightly bend the knees, start to circle, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky as we come to stand. And exhale, hands to heart. So we'll do that all again on the other side. So again, finding your variation, how you'd like to step back into that plank variation, whatever you'd like to take. So um, for that forward fold, again, hands could be at heart center at the hips, or you could reach the arms up. And then exhale, press the airway with the arms as you hinge at the hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shin size, blocks, books, chair. Exhale, fold, stepping that right foot back, coming into that runner's stretch on the, with the left foot in front, and hands framing that left foot. We're on the ball of that right foot, right foot. Heel is pressing back, face and heart forward. And gently start to release that right knee, right shin, top of right foot to the earth. As we start to come up into a low lunge, you can take the hands to that left thigh to come up, or you can start to circle, sweep the arm up. As you reach the arms, the fingers toward the sky, we're on that 
Left foot in front, we're on that right shin. Exhale, cactus, open the arms as you bend at the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together, sending the heart forward. Maybe the face tilts up slightly. And gently start to release the hands to frame that left foot once again. And from here, we'll find that half split as we begin to shift the hips back, lengthen that left leg as much as you wish. You can always have as much of a bend in the knee as you wish. That left foot can stay grounded or you can begin to lift the toes toward the sky. The hands can stay forward or you can walk them back a bit. Maybe you stay lifted here with the face and the heart forward or maybe you begin to round the upper body, rounding the head toward that left leg. Breathe. And begin to rebend into that left leg, hands framing that foot. And again, we'll find our twist. So you can always keep that right leg on the earth or you can curl the toes, lift that right knee, grounding through that right hand as we begin to inhale the left arm to the sky, gently turning the upper body toward the left, toward that left leg. Breathe. And releasing that left hand to the outside of that left foot. Again, we'll come back into a tabletop or plank variation, whatever you wish. You can start to slide that left foot back to that tabletop. You can step it back to meet the right. You can be up on the balls of the feet, pressing those heels back, grounding into the fingertips. You could have the knees on the earth. Maybe you're taking something totally different. And breathe. And then we'll start to find that down dog again, bend the knees, bend the tail high, pedal through the feet, shake the head. And from here, let's gently drop the knees to the earth. And we'll find a child shape. So you can take the big toes to touch and start to widen the knees. Taking Maybe the knees come to the outer edges of the mat, or maybe you keep the knees closer together as we start to send the hips toward the heels they do not need to touch. You can keep the arms forward and you can release the forehead to the earth. You could always bend the arms and rest the forehead on top of stacked forearms or hands or blocks or pillows. And finding wherever you need to be, maybe with each exhale, the hips relax a bit. Maybe you'd like to start finding some gentle movement. Let the hips sway a bit side to side, just sort of moving. And begin to gently pull yourself back up and to that all fours. And then we'll start to come to our seat. So however you'd like to make your way there. And we begin to come to our seat and find a butterfly shape. The soles of the feet can come together, knees dropping open to the sides. The feet can be closer into the body or further away, and the hands can come to the fronts of the ankles. You could interlace the hands around the toes so the palms are on the, the tops of the feet. You can take the hands in front of the legs, in front of uh, to the earth. And as we exhale, we'll gently hinge at the hips. Maybe the elbows press a bit into the calves. And maybe you stay here, heart and face forward, or maybe you'd like to round the head toward the earth. And gently begin to lift yourself back up. Start to pick the knees up as you plant the feet on the earth. And begin to find your way to your back, however you'd like to get there. As we start to make our way back to where we began. And maybe you start to hug the knees in. And then we'll find a twist as we... Begin to drop the knees over to the left so the legs are stacked and bent on top of one another. You can always find a different variation. Maybe you'd rather have one leg long and take that other, have that left leg long and have the right leg bent. Uh, maybe you cross the legs. Maybe you keep your arms at the sides. Maybe you have that left hand on the right thigh. Maybe you take the arms out to a T, straight out from the shoulders. You can turn your face to the right. Maybe you skip a twist. So finding whatever feels good for you. And 
and start to gently come back through center. Perhaps give yourself a hug. And if you're twisting, we'll start to switch sides as we begin to drop the legs over to the right. Again, maybe the legs are stacked and bent on top of one another. Maybe that right hand stays on that outer left thigh. Maybe the arms come to a T. Maybe the face goes to the left. Maybe you're somewhere else. Let's breathe. And begin to gently come back through center. Again, you can start to give yourself another hug. Maybe from here, you'd like to find a happy baby starting to widen the legs. You could stay here with the legs outside of the ribs, soles of feet forward. Or maybe you find the feet with the hands, taking the soles of feet toward the sky, knees toward the earth, the underarms. Maybe you take movement, rocking side to side on the spine. Maybe you move through the legs. Finding whatever final movements you may need to do. And then start to set up for your final resting shape, your Shavasana. You could take the feet to the earth. You could extend your legs out long. You could take the feet wide, let the toes drop open to the sides. Maybe the arms are alongside the body or you connect the hands to the heart and the belly. Maybe you'd rather be on your side, your seat, your belly. Whatever it is that makes you feel the most comfortable so that you can practice these final few moments of stillness. So that you can practice releasing any residual tension left in the body from the temples to the toes. And practice with each exhale, sinking a bit deeper into the earth and into relaxation. If you have the time, feel free to stay here. Give yourself, your body, your breath, your mind. It's time to rest. And if you do need to begin moving on, you can begin with deepening your breath. Start to bring some gentle movement into your body as you wiggle your fingers and your toes. Perhaps gently rolling the wrists and the ankles. Slowly rocking the arms and the legs a bit. Perhaps you'd like to reach the arms up overhead and begin to find a big full body stretch as you come back into awareness with the body, breath, and mind. And maybe you'd like to start to hug the knees in and roll to your favorite side in sleeping child shape. Resting your head in your bicep pillow. Taking a few more grounding breaths, taking a few moments of gratitude for taking the time for your practice, for this practice that extends beyond yourself, this practice that goes with you out into the world. Gratitude for all your blessings in life, big and small. Gratitude for all the good there is in the world, remembering there's more good than there is anything else. 
As you feel ready, you can gently start to find your seat, take your time to get there and take another moment to reflect on the breath, remembering the restorative effects that it can have on the mind and the body. Remembering it's a practice to find and feel these effects and a practice that you can come to at any time throughout your day, a practice you always have with you to help find a sense of peace, presence, calm and clarity. If you'd like on the inhale, you can reach your arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. May you have compassion in your thoughts. May you have kindness in your words and actions. May you have love and peace in your heart. Today as you go forward, may you be happy, may you be healthy. May you feel love, may you find peace, support, connection, healing, growth, whatever it is you may need. Thank you for joining. Until next time, take care and be well.